In this question, uh, you have to find a sum uh, by suitable rearrangement. And what does that mean? By, what do you mean by suitable rearrangement? By suitable rearrangement, we mean that we have to use the properties of whole numbers, that is associative property or commutative property or distributive property of whole number. And using those properties, you have to make the rearrangement and then you have to find this either the sum or the multiplication. And in this question, you have been asked for addition, that is for sum, and therefore we'll, we'll see that how we use our properties and make the rearrangement. The basic point of doing the rearrangement is just to simplify our expression and to find the answer. Of course, you can go for, you know, you, you can first add 837, then 208, and then 363, right? Like you can do like this. It's 8, 837, and then you can do 208, and then 363, the very normal way of doing the addition, and then you can get the answer. But then what's the point of understanding, you know, studying or learning the properties of whole numbers? Of course, they, they provide us a, an easy way to solve our problem, okay, and our arithmetic operation gets easier. And let's, and let's see how. So, whenever you are asked this question, such questions where you have to make some rearrangements and then you have to find a solution of either multiplication or addition, then just keep one thing in your mind for at your level in your class that always make the arrangement so that you could get a zero number a zero digit at the last of the number make the arrangements so that you can get a zero at the last of the number like here you could easily see if i attack i am using some layman words but it's just to explain you and for the fun that if if 7 you know gets attracted towards 3 of course 7 plus 3 would make 10 right and you could clearly see that if if we group together this these two numbers 837 and 363 then of course we, we are going to get a number which will be surely having a zero in as a digit in the last zero as a last digit okay and that would you know simplify our problem that would simplify our steps for the further uh, addition so what you have to do is you have to just make the rearrangement like this that is 837 and then 363 and then 208 now notice that i have changed the order i have changed the order and what property you have used here of course you have used here commutative property of uh, whole numbers and if you remember that we we had discussed there that the commutative property of whole numbers means that if a is equal to sorry if a plus b then it would be equal to b plus a and that is a commutative property right and therefore we have just changed the order and we have used the commutative property now you have to do is just group them together this 837 and 363 right now which property is this one this is the associative property of this of whole numbers and you remember the what was the associative property it was like if a plus b and plus c then you can it, it, it would be equal to a plus b plus c right this is these just like here we group together a and b but in this one we group together b and c so similarly here we have grouped together 837 and 363 so this is the associative property of the whole number and now if you would add it what number you would get of course you are going to get 837 plus 363 would be it would be 837 then 840 then 900 and this would be 1200 the, the sum of these two numbers would be 1200 and then plus 208 now you could see that hey you got a zero digit and I mean you you manipulated that okay I can get a zero digit at the last if I add these two numbers and somewhere uh, you know you what you got is 1200 which is now much more easier to add in 208 well, in comparison to adding these three numbers right you could see that the clearly by some rearrangements and by some groupings uh, you got a simpler I mean simplified number and then now if you would add this then you would get this is 1200 plus 208 it would be 14 0 and 8 now you saw that now you see that how easily we got this number and similar similarly we'll go here for this one the second question says that it's 1962 and 
it's added by 453 and then it's added by 1538 and then by 647 now similarly apply same trick or same method here now you could see that if i add 2 and 8 then 8 plus 2 is 10 and of course i'm going go, if i'll get sorry i'll get a zero as a digit in in the number if i add 1962 and 1538 so it would simplify my number so go on make the arrangement and and one, one more thing like here it is 3 and it is here of course 3 plus 7 would also give 10 and you'd get zero as a digit at the last of the number okay so the arrangements would be like this one it would be 1962 plus 1538 okay and the next arrangement would be 453 and plus 647 and the reason you uh, reason we group together that's because you just check it by adding the last digits whether you're getting zero or not so here but if we add two and then eight we'll get zero at the, uh, in the last here also seven plus three you would get the zero in the last so if you add these this this number this would be 1962 plus 38 uh, this would be 2000 and 3500 this number would be 3500 and you can check it by doing this like 1962 and 1538 and if you add it you would be you would get 10 1 carry 6 7 10 1 carry 9 plus 10 5 and 1 carry and this would be 3500 that is what we got here and then add plus what would you get if you add 453 and 647 so you would get 500 and 1100 okay you would get 1100 if you add 453 and 647 now if you add these two this would be 3500 plus 1100 would give you 4600 so you see here also you got zero in uh, as a digit uh, as a last digits in your number and you could see that how simply we by uh, we simplified our steps by some rearrangements and you know you we got the answer so the the trick is like you always check you know you always go and check whether if i add two uh, two digits and if i'm getting as a zero then group them together if you're getting zero then group them together and you will find your answer in a much simpler and a faster way